morning everyone, I saw us here playing Minecraft again. Last time I showed you my beautiful house. And uh, this time I'm gonna teach you how to make those dispenser machines that I make. And it's pretty simple. Let me just blow up this place. This was my old dispenser place. And we don't want that. I want to show you how this works. So first of all, you just pick a spot, I guess, and I'll just pick, I have to find a flat place, I mean, kind of flat at least. Okay, this, this Okay, so you start off with a dispenser. You put it here, you put another one there, you put one here, one of the quartz or whatever building material you want to use, you put that there, and <coughs> you put one dispenser here or there. And then what you're going to do is dig two down and go all the way here until you reach the back of that. And then you're going to place a pressure plate right over here. And then you're going to put some redstone under here. So when you stand on this, that should light up. And that's what you want to do, because you want that to light up. So after you've successfully done that, you put two quartz there, one here and one here. So you go up like this. Just to test it out, you put something in here, and you stand on that. So now you know that it works. Now, you go up, like this, <coughs> and all of them should work, basically. They should. So let's test it out. You put, you cover this with quartz, and then you go just to cover, you know, the ugly places of the redstone chair. Like that. So you just go ahead and cover this whole place. It doesn't matter, I don't want to make it pretty right now because I don't really care. It's like a tutorial. You can you can put glass around it, you can put whatever you want as long as you don't destroy the redstone. So that's what you're gonna have. And fix that right up. Yep. And that's what you're basically gonna have. You're gonna have this thing, and you can just cover the roof. And you put your armor in the dispensers. I prefer doing it real, like, you know, putting the Iron Man shoes there, and putting the legs there, and putting that there. And putting the helmet there. Now when I go stand on it, my armor should come on. And there you go. So you have this pretty simple design. I also have another trick for you which would make it kind of amazing. And here's the trick. You get all that. And you actually put a piston under yourself. So this, again, should work, it most definitely will, and it makes it kind of prettier. So you put the pressure plate on there, and shit, take away that, and you put the shoes there, okay, I don't have my arm on, it should come on, and there you go. So this is a pretty simple design, and the one that you, you know, run through and the armor comes on you it's a lot more complicated and yes I made it and it will take me a long time to explain it but I can just show you the design kinda this is the basic design and those pressure plates are here you see the redstone is under the pressure plate as you saw in the other machine that I built because pressure plates activate the redstone under them 
so that's why I used pressure plates. And also, this goes all the way up, that the pressure plate activates it, this goes all the way up here, and uh, this acti act act that activates a dispenser, which is placed one block away from the pressure plate. And this is just to get the timing right, because you want to run, not sprint, because if you sprint, you'll be too fast for the dispensers to put your armor on. So you will have to run the normal speed. And this is just to get the timing right, because you don't want to go like this. This is just watching and it's plain boring. So you want to run, and when you run, this comes on. It's just to get the timing right, and you have to place the legs, the, the pants, last. Because the pants give you, you know, superhuman, supersonic speed in running. As you can see here, I'm very much faster than a normal Minecraft, <laughs> than normal speed. So, yeah, that's why you should put it last, because otherwise you will run too fast and you will ruin the timing. Another design that I've personally made, and uh, these are not copies of anyone, no one has ever, 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 ever attempted to build this, and I'm pretty sure no one has, I'm really sure no one has. So I'm going to test this out, and you're going to watch me. This is a pretty simple design, it's not simple, but it, it was simple for me. I really do well with, you know. Uh, redstone contraptions. So what this does is put your armor on while you're on a roller coaster. So yeah, just watch. And, uh, on. So there is, you know that, and you have all these designs. You can build all these, but please don't ask me to build a how-to on this one. Because this one took me like four hours to build, like basically four hours. And as you can see, it's kind of complicated. The roller coaster took me a lot to build, but the dispenser thing, it was kind of easy. And, ah, God. You shouldn't step on the tripwire by mistake. Okay. And there you go, so that's the tutorial, and let me just destroy that thing I built here. Where was it? It was somewhere around here. Because I just discovered that skeletons can actually walk into these things, and they will have, like, you know, strong, they'll become very strong. And you, it's impossible to beat them. I mean, literally. Watch this. <coughs> And there's your average skeleton in an Iron Man suit. And there's no way you can actually beat him. Like, he's invincible. But fortunately, I have discovered the weaknesses of the Iron Man suit because, well, I play as the Iron Man in this game. So I know its weaknesses and I know how to beat that skeleton. And the weakness would be fire. And it's, it's not easy, but... You know, this is the way. You guys set that gun on fire. And you should be careful so it doesn't go in water. And nothing, I mean nothing, can be done. Well, you know, but I can't be done. It's wrong. Okay, well, that's the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I didn't enjoy this part, because now I have to kill a skeleton in an Iron Man suit, and that's no fun. So, anyways, yeah, I'm gonna go now, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you actually learned how to build it, and if you tried to build it. And I really hope this works out for you, because I find this really amazing i really love this mod the iron man suit is basically what i really want for minecraft and now i have it and also you know i hope you try out the roller coaster design because it's really awesome and i'm sure you can do it i'm sure you can manage 
And yeah, so that's the end of this video. I'm gonna go now. And bye.